everybody. Good morning. So it is August 8th, 2018 at exactly 1030 in the morning. This is probably one of the earliest videos that I've ever made. Not like it's like early in the day, but just like whatever. I'm here. Um, so I just wanted to make a video y'all because today marks my two year anniversary of having top surgery. I chopped my tater tots off two years ago today. So this will start. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. <laughs> this is what my chest looks like. Meow, 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 meow. So I'm kind of chubby. So like I have a little fluff. But okay. So I wanted to kind of, I think, frame this more in the idea of what it's like being um, gender fluid and not having boobs. Um, identify as gender fluid simply meaning that I identify as both male and female and sometimes neither, just kind of like in an androgynous amorphous blob state. So when I had top surgery two years ago, I solely identified as FTM, female to male. I was on testosterone. At that point, it was probably, I started on July 8th, 2015, and this was August. So like a year, I was on testosterone basically a year and a month when I had top surgery. Um, and now I've been off of testosterone for a year and I think three months. I stopped on um, April 25th, 2000. 16. Um, and I can put a link in the description as to why I stopped taking testosterone because I'm sure if anybody decides to comment, they're going to be like, why did you stop? And that's a whole video in and of itself. So yes, I want to talk about what it's like to partly identify as females. So we're going to focus on like the female part. What does it feel like to be a woman without boobs? Well, I'll tell you, it's not something I really think about is like the like the short like cheated answer. Um, I mm, <laughs> like thinking. I don't have that much feminine clothing. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five dresses and one skirt. And then I just bought like four women's t-shirts because I have to play um, a cis female in a web series that's coming up. And I was like, all of my shirts are men's shirts and I'm playing a female. So I, and this character isn't like butch or anything. They're femme. So, so yeah, I mostly have masculine clothing. But it feels marvelous to me to be able to wear a dress and not have boobs. And I know that might sound like really weird and like you may not get it, which is fine because this is my journey and not yours. I'm just sharing my life. Um, is it feels great. I have this one specific dress that's like very, it's like not tight like on my body because like I said, I've got some fluff but it's like very tight up here and it's like this beautiful like halter top and has like buttons in the back and it's beautiful. And I love that in the dress, it's just like completely flat. I, I think it looks majestic. Um, and then I have another dress that's like really like plungy, like it goes down to about here, almost like where my scars meet, but like not quite, you can't see it within the dress. And I love that too. Um, yeah, it's just nice. Cause I mean, boobs are annoying for anyone that happens to have them. Like I am not a fan. I certainly wasn't like, you know, before I had top surgery, um, before I realized I was trans, which wasn't until like later in my life, it wasn't until like four years ago. I'm not going to say how old I am because we're just going to keep that a secret. Um, <laughs> I didn't really have a problem with them because I didn't have dysphoria and I didn't realize I was trans. I had 
like, you know, I had C's. They weren't, like, super gigantic. I didn't have, like, triple F or anything like that. But, I mean, they were there. They were there. They, they made their appearance and made themselves known. So, yeah, basically, it doesn't bother me at all. I feel beautiful without them. The only thing is, is I have been off of tea for, like I said, a year and three months. And I honestly wasn't even going to talk about this in a video ever at all. But I guess I'll just share. Basically, because I was off of tea, and this is like so debated in the trans community. Like, there's a famous YouTuber who is getting all this shit, like literally two weeks ago, because everyone was commenting on their um, status saying, like, your boobs are going to grow back. And then, like, everyone else was like, that's not possible. Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you that that actually is possible. That, um, not for everyone, I know people, um, trans masculine folks that have had top surgery, they've been off it for like five years, and they never had breast development, um, come back. But unfortunately, I've had like a little bit. I always call them negative A cups because it's like, it's not enough to fit into a bra, and if you look at me in a shirt, like, I'm gonna look pretty flat. I will be honest and say that it does make me a little uncomfortable and I do plan on having a revision. Um, the only thing that's really stopping me is I want to lose weight so that it's like the most effective to have the surgery because, you know, I have to go through the whole process again of like insurance and all of that jazz and I would rather just be like fit and not have to worry about like getting a revision and then having like a saggy chest or extra skin. So I'm not going to ramble too much. Um, that's basically it is it's been two years since I've had surgery. It was the greatest decision of my life. I do not feel that it was a mistake because of my gender fluid identity. I don't miss having boobs at all. And yeah, I mean, that's about it. You know, I'm fully confident in my decision and I I stand by it and never once have I ever been like, oh crap, I think I might have made a mistake. No, bitch. No, bitch. I didn't. Um, and then I did just want to add something really cool about having top surgery is my family has a lake house and like we have a boat and being able to swim in the cool Wisconsin murky ass water is such an amazing feeling. I remember the first time like two years ago when I jumped in the water for my first time and just wearing trunks in general was such a crazy fucking feeling that I was like, what's going on? What's happening with my body? And it just felt so amazing to... I don't know, just be free and feel the water around my skin. And honestly, like, that's when I feel most liberated. Because even before I had top surgery, I just, like, never wore a shirt. And I, like, still don't because in my abode, like, clothing slash t-shirts are optional. So I would have to say that's honestly one of my favorite parts is just, like, being in water and just feeling it all over my skin. So... I just wanted to share and I hope you all have an amazing day. I also have a really important meeting later today regarding my acting career that I'm hoping and praying to Jesus Christ and all of his friends that it will go well and that it will be a turning point of my career. So more info on that, I guess, perhaps, depending on how it goes. I don't know. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope you have an amazing fucking day, just as I am today. All right, bye.